I'll give you some hard facts on YouTube that will help you make some decisions, business decisions. Over 2.6 billion people right now worldwide use YouTube at least once a month. Now that's high. If the world is roughly 8 billion, that's almost 30% of the world population. Secondly, YouTube is the second largest search engine after Google. That's amazing. The second largest search engine after Google. YouTube is the second most popular social media platform, of course, second after Facebook. Over 70% of YouTube watch time comes from mobile devices. Why that's important? It's good to know that most people who watch videos, they watch on the phone. So when you're making videos or thinking about the adverts, then you need to consider the fact that they are not watching on laptop. And some things actually disappear on mobile phone that you can watch on TV or laptop. Now, as of this year, YouTube has more than 51 million active channels. 51 million active channels that have been uploaded now and then. Most YouTube users fall in the age group between 15 and 35. That's the largest category of the YouTube users. As you develop the content, bear in mind what this age group is looking for. What type of products do they want? The top genre watched by YouTube users is comedy. That's 77% of users. Now, let me make it clear here. It doesn't mean these people, 77% of users watch comedy and not other things. No, 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 no. The same guys, you'll find them in music, in games, inspirational talks, educational. But at least we are saying among the YouTube users, 77% of them watch comedy among other things. That's quite high. Of the top 100 searches on YouTube, 20% are related to music. That's how much people watch music. And many of us here listen to music every day. Viewers spend 100 billion hours watching gaming content. 84% of viewers bought from a brand after seeing it on YouTube. Basically, they saw an advert on YouTube and they were able to buy simply because they saw the advert on YouTube. Now, these, these are real stats. Figures don't lie. So the three main ways is the YouTube partner or rather monetizing your YouTube channel. Number two is the match self. That's short form for merchandise. And what this means is selling merchandise on YouTube. And the third one is sponsorships. And this simply says, like becoming a brand ambassador or a brand influencer for a company, or, or even if you're not the one influencing, you allow an organization to advertise through your channel. Those are the three, and I have benefited from the three. I'm going to show you how I have done it and uh, how you can do it. Basically, the requirements are simple from YouTube. If you want to be a YouTube partner and YouTube does adverts through your channel, you simply need to hit a thousand subscribers. YouTube will not give you any advert before you hit a thousand subscribers. For the match self, the requirement is much higher. It's 10,000 subscribers. Then you can have some merchandise on your YouTube channel. The third one has nothing to do with YouTube. It's arrangements you make with other companies. Companies approach you and they say they want to advertise. Sometimes even individuals. I've been approached by politicians here in America. I've been approached by different firms. Um, doing different types of businesses, asking me whether I can advertise through my YouTube channel. So I decided to pull just two months in the course of this year, March and April. 
uh, you can see my icon in this screenshot and the revenue. Now, the only reason I decided to share with you this by the grace of God is to see whether I can inspire you and convince you there is money in YouTube. Maybe you've heard about it and you don't believe it. Uh, for example, March, uh, they wired to me 46, 57 US dollars. There are some months um, where business is slow, like April. That's why I decided to bring two months when the business was good and one when the business was slow. April, the business was a bit low and uh, the check I received was 28.47. And uh, maybe just to put into context, because you're coming from different countries this morning, uh, for those of you in South Africa, for 657, if you convert to the South African RAD, it's 83,826. For those of you in Kenya, if you convert to Kenya shillings, that's 558,840. For those of you in Nigeria, that's 2,021,138. For those of you in Uganda, that's 17,836,310. Just to put it into context, why am I sharing this? Just to let you know, uh, seriously speaking, I, co I collect rent. I have some rentals, I have a business, and I have YouTube. I can tell you this. Uh, you can end up making more money on YouTube than on rent and much easier. The reason we keep driving subscription is because it pays back. So that's why you'll hear every single one who has content. They keep pleading with you, begging you, asking you, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. Because when you subscribe, you become like a regular customer to that supermarket. And that, uh, you, we are not paid because of how many subscribers we have. No, 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 no. The money doesn't come from how many subscribers you have. The money comes from viewership. So why do we drive subscription? Simple. When somebody subscribes, they are notified of the new video. And so they are likely to watch the video. When they watch the video and they watch the, the, uh, they watch the advert, they don't skip the advert then the content creator is paid. By the way, if everybody skips the advert, then the content creator doesn't have any money. Of, of course, sometimes what we do, I have some videos where I have adverts you can't skip. So we normally ensure some adverts you can't skip at all. So we have the skippable adverts and the non-skippable adverts. But of course, the non-skippable adverts sometimes annoy the audience. So most of the time, we want to give you option for you to be able to skip the advert. But every time you choose to watch the advert, you're actually supporting uh, the person who created the content. So I will give you the seven things I know. If you listen to these seven things, you too can create content and succeed as a YouTuber. Number one, you've got to decide the content you want to create, the type the type of content. Number two, you must impress your audience within the first 10 seconds. Let me say this, grab your audience within 10 seconds. Every time you do video content, the competition is so high. We have a generation that is very impatient. They will not give you time to sort yourself out. If you don't grab their attention, if you don't catch their attention within 10 seconds, they have moved on. So 10 to 15 seconds is their grace period. So for example, for me, because 50% of my videos are relationships, I will draw a strong statement. The very first statement, I'll draw a strong statement, basically telling you what this video is all about. Number three, it's about the headers or rather your headlights. Make sure the topic is catchy. Make your titles appealing, including the thumbnails, how your videos appear. Number four, the frequency. Produce content, if possible, every week. This is exactly what I do. I'm not telling you theory. I produce relational content, two videos every single week. Number five is quality. 
if you truly want adverts make sure your sound and your visuals are professionally done uh by the way you will not get quality adverts from youtube if you compromise on your sound and visuals number six is the standards now the quality of the content standard is the quality of the content and my suggestion to you always exceed your audience expectations when you make a promise i don't know whether you have ever listened to a certain video and then say for example the ukraine russian war a guy came up with a good thumbnail a good catchy title but then there was no content inside what you wanted to see you realize they duped you to watch and number seven uh i want to tell you something guys it's god pray for god's favor trust me my personal discovery is this it doesn't matter how hard you work it doesn't matter how strategic you are it doesn't matter what content you produce believe me i can convince you in 10 hours if you had the time blessings can only come from god only god's favor can make your content to move around like bushfire i want to i want to share with you the the top 12 most watched genres in youtube genres are categories the first category where people make money is actually comedy comedy is very viewed the other category where people end up making money is music the third category is games and music you've got to decide what you're doing is it country is it gospel music you've got to decide the music you're doing but the music that uh, is leading right now is actually music for babies then we have sports whether it's soccer like in africa it's soccer or what you call football in america football means something else uh, athletics you know number five is whatever is trading people like knowing the latest in their country and around the world uh then product review you you find guys who review like a phone somebody wants to review the apple phone somebody wants to review how to use facials a certain product on facials or how to put you know those things the ladies put or somebody is reviewing a product like tesla now if you review something that a lot of people use like makeup products for ladies they want to know the other day in kenya there was a guy interviewing a freemason now that attracted a lot of interest interviews attract a lot of interest so the best thing with interviews always look an influential person if you want to create content and grow very fast fast interview people who are known known brands so when it comes to tutorials whether it's for fitness or just teaching kids how to do math or physics languages french spanish kiswahili um whatever language tutorials including love making every time you come up with tutorials how to grow tomatoes you'll be surprised almost every tutorial whether it's in farming whether it's in business you will always get people with interest if you do your presentation right the other area you can think about are challenges a lot of people sign up for challenges that's very interesting so if you come up with a challenge and you can choose the area for example you can decide you'll just come up with challenges on keeping feet or jogging or foods things that people do on a day-to-day -day basis number 10 educational videos for example world war ii or the revolutionary war in america the mau mau war in kenya you can do an educational video on nelson mandela you can focus on history on geography on chemistry okay let's go to chem you can do an educational video purely on organic chemistry okay docu series uh the other one you can do is commentaries and um commentaries work especially when it comes to things like politics all uh, commenting on current issues that works